Hola amigos, welcome to the first episode of learning how to use a modular with Pilar Z. Today I am going to show you how to get the best out of your bipolar rodo sequence. Alright, let's get started. First, we need to check the play mode. This is very important because this function determines the direction of your sequencer. Not only that, but it also has a function that grants you random access to the digits of the sequencer. Another very important thing to consider is that each light is an indication of how many digits you have on your sequence. For example, if we move the digits slowly, watch this. You can hear the sound changing. You can also try another one, but you only need to try the ones that has the lights. Or you can also try the slow, and the, this is gonna make the pitch slow. Watch. Can you hear that? I'm sure you do. Anyways, if you wanna bring this whole thing into the next level, you can play with the play mode. You can bring from standard to random. And this will make your digits do random. Or you can also bring it in pendulum. This will make your digits go on a clockwise like a pendulum and then go slowly back. I'm gonna play a little bit with the pitch so you can hear the difference and then this one always remember the ones that the lights are on I'm gonna go it back in standard guys unfortunately we're running out of time but i hope you really enjoyed the first episode of learning how to use the modular with pilar Z. if you have any questions do not hesitate on send me an email to learning how to use the modular at pilarzeta.com or you can also comment below and i will try to answer as soon as possible also if you like this video you can just thumbs up and if you don't like this video you can just thumbs up Thank you and namaste.